Hello YouTube, just doing a follow-up video on the Catapella greenhouse that's been built probably about 10-11 months ago. So after being through four seasons, I thought I'd show that it, it held up through uh, some hurricane force winds, 26-27 inches of snow, heat, cold, and everything seems to be in place. Uh, the only issue I've seen so far is some expansion of this wood beam here that is either shifted down or expanded and uh, it's not it didn't put a hole in the plastic but I can see that it's sticking out further than it was uh, the vent still works great on its own it gets about 80 in there and it opens up real quick uh, some questions I've gotten over the year Besides the usual, where'd you get the materials? I've updated that video with the material list. Um, these blankets here, some people have asked me, well, how do you keep it warm? Well, this isn't a year-round greenhouse, obviously, because it's only one layer of plastic and there's no heating system in there. So, to get an early jump before our last frost, on any time it's gonna get below 32, I put uh, paint tarp blankets over top to trap the heat in there and I use this little space heater right there and it keeps it in about 45 degrees in here on a 25 degree night so that's how I keep it warm to extend the life uh, to almost I wish it was a year round but at least nine months of use uh, just a real quick over what I've got going here I got some spider plants that I plant in the flower beds every year Got them going. I got a bunch of lettuce going, some spinach, uh, some kale, and oregano. Mostly cold weather plants for now. And patience, pansies are getting going. Cucumbers, uh, some strawberries, and this is my uh, cracky bed system here. Uh, let me squeeze in a little bit tighter. Uh, I did this in the fall, and it turned out beautifully um, so I'm continuing in the spring here um, this is a great system especially for lettuce um, and I'm trying new things like uh, just got some kale here and I know I'm pretty sure kale will be fine but I'm trying radishes and radishes seem to be so far doing extremely well they've been here three weeks and this radish is almost ready to get picked give another week or two maybe so radishes work out well. I mean, they're pretty much an easy plant to grow in the dirt, but come on, get back in there. So there's update on the cracky beds here. These were just put in here uh, a couple days ago. Um, something else that's new here is I built these grow hydroponic grow towers. And I'm gonna do a whole video series on these. Um, I built all these by hand and a couple of prototypes later and this is the one that uh, turned out the best and i think i'm ready to do a video on that because i want to build you know 10 or 12 of them in here and i'm going to go over how they were built the water return system and the water feed system up here uh real quick these strawberries uh, were put in here about three weeks ago and and we already have berries forming so they're doing really well these other prototypes have onions in them, different varieties. Um, and you can see here that the roots are growing right into the hydroton. I'm hoping that they grow in there and it holds in place and the onion bulb just grows right in here. We'll see, this is all experiments. So I'm gonna do a video series on that. So, so until next time YouTube, I'll see you soon. Say hello to our chickens, which are also new to the family this year. I'll do a separate video on that, I think, including the build and the water system that's in there. All right, YouTube, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe.